By the time Todd Frayne reeled in this touchdown against Iowa State, few held his Iowa roots against him, as he had the heart of a Husker. I'm close enough to where I watched it all the time, so, and after being recruited by them, walking out and seeing the stands just go crazy, it was just unbelievable. I had to play there. His first catch came against number four Penn State. Touchdown Nebraska. He had game winners as well, but the tight end from trainer's place in Husker history, a bit overshadowed, thanks to splitting touches with the scoring explosion of Turner Gill, Irving Fryer, and Mike Rozier. I didn't say much. I just went to the huddle and did what I was supposed to. <laughs> that was a dream come true to play with all those kind of guys, you know, and then we, we were pretty good my junior and senior year too, you know. As a junior in 1984, Frayne led the team in receiving yards, but he's best remembered for a pair of touchdowns in the 1985 Sugar Bowl. Goes down the middle for Frayne, touchdown. Knee injuries would cut short Frayne's NFL career after just two seasons. And despite still suffering the lingering side effects of four or five concussions, he encouraged all three of his sons to play college football. Now, this proud grandpa has no hesitation in the next generation following his footsteps. I'd like to see him play. I love football, I love Nebraska football, and my kids like Nebraska football. I got seven grandkids right now, six boys, one girl, so yeah, Frey name's gonna go on for a while. <laughs>